Hi everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. Before we get started, be sure that you subscribed to my YouTube channel. It is totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. Now today's video is a bonus video for our movie night mystery box, but what's great is that anybody can do this because likely you have all the supplies at home. So what we're gonna do is create a little box wrap and we're gonna use Cricut pens to write on it. And then we're also gonna make a little tag that you can stick to like a bag of chips or popcorn. And we're gonna actually use some vinyl on cardstock. This is a really fun way to use vinyl and to make cardstock a little extra special. And I think this is just a really cute thing that you can do for birthday parties as well as like a movie night. But the possibilities with these are endless. These would also be really cute for like school events so just have fun with it. You can do a lot with it. And I think you're gonna pick up some tips on working with Cricut pens and with working with vinyl on cardstock. So let's go ahead and get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. For this design, I am gonna show you how to do this from start to finish. That way you guys can have a really good understanding of design space. And I think it's gonna teach you a couple little tips and tricks. So of course we have measured our box. So we know that a full wrap around it is about nine and a half inches. So for this, I'm gonna go about 10 inches um, with a rectangle because we wanna make sure that the, um, like we have a little extra paper to fold over on itself to glue to it. So we know that it's nine and a half inches um, around, but we wanna make it about, I would say like five and a half wide. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do. And this is gonna be done completely for free, so it's even more fun. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna open up a shape and you'll see that you have a bunch of free shapes here on Design Space. We're just gonna use a square because we're gonna unlock it and change the properties of it anyways. So like I said, we're going to size this to fit around the candy box. So I wanna make this about, we said five and a half wide, and then we're gonna do 10 high. So you'll see that we have this kind of long piece of paper. Now for this, you can really kind of put your design wherever on the paper, but I do recommend kind of putting it a little bit more towards the top edge because we're gonna fold this around your box. Now I'm gonna change the color of this because it drives me crazy. I hate having to look at it in that gray, so I just usually will make it a brighter color. Now this is a fun thing that you can do with Cricut pens. You could also use vinyl on this if you so chose to. It's really up to you and how you want your design to look. Now I'm gonna use the Cricut pens just because I think they're fun and easy to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some text here and we're just gonna call these, cause I'm using um, some old sour, they're not old, but Sour Patch Kids from Christmas. So I'm just gonna label it as Sour Patch Kids. And if I want this to write, let me move this over to the side so you can see this better. What I wanna do is I'm gonna go to fonts. I'm gonna click that down arrow. I wanna use this filter and I wanna change this to writing. Then what it's gonna do is it's going to filter down all the fonts that'll actually like write. So you can choose whatever font that you want that you like, it's up to you. You can kind of play with it, do whatever you want. There's not really a right or wrong way to design these. You just kind of have fun with it. This is actually one of my favorite ones and I think it's super cute. This is that DTC uh, shiplap. So I'm gonna select that one. Now, one thing that you wanna make sure that you note is right here where it says style. You definitely want it to say writing. Now, I don't know that I really like the look of that now that I'm kind of looking at it. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna double click on it to edit it and I'm gonna put Sour Patch on one like line. I think that looks a little bit better because you want to keep in mind that you need this part, the words, to fit on just the front of your box. So I think that looks pretty okay. I don't think that looks too bad. I'm going to move it down just a smidge. And then what I'm going to do is add a price to it because I'm going to do it so that like the kids earn the little tickets to buy their um, candy. So this is going to cost two tickets. Now again, I'm gonna use a writing font for this. So let's find a different one. Our filter's still on, and I'm, it may not look great because I'm just gonna pick some different styles, but you can really play around with this and just see which ones you like the best. I think that one's pretty fun. And I think it'll be a fun one that it's gonna write. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna try to figure out kind of where to put it. I think what I'm gonna do is realign this so that it is goes to let's do the left I was gonna do the right but I think let's do the left 
And then I'm going to put the cost. Oops, I grabbed the box. I'm going to put the cost, so my tickets, which sometimes this is really hard to grab when it wants to, like, be a little bit picky about what it wants to grab. So I'm going to go with the two tickets, and then I'm going to change the color of my pen. I'm going to put this just on white paper so that we can really see it. So I'm going to put the cost in red, and then I'm going to put the Sour Patch Kids logo or, like, words in, like, turquoise. It really doesn't totally matter where you put stuff or, like, what colors you choose. It only matters what color pen you put into your Cricut. And like I said, I'm going to do this on white paper. So now you can kind of go in and like decorate it with things that you might want to. So what's fun is if you have Cricut um, access, this is going to be super easy, but you don't have to add any images. But I'm going to show you if you wanted to add some images, how we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the word movie. And then what I want to do is under operation type, I want it to um, be a draw only image. And let's see if anything comes up that we might want to use on our little movie box. Now there are licensed images that do cost money, so keep that in mind. But I think we're just gonna use like a fun little design. This one's actually really cute, so let's do that one. I'm gonna add that to the canvas. And this is just a fun little like drawing type of thing that you can do. And you can just kind of turn it or place it wherever you want, resize it, do whatever you wanna do with it. It's really up to you and how you want it to look. So I'm gonna go ahead and size it down a little bit. And I want it to be, hmm, I was thinking about putting it under the word tickets, but I think that makes it a little hard to read. I think that might be a little hard to read then, especially for the little ones. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to size it down, turn it, and then I think what I'll do is I might move all of this information over a little bit. And that way I can stick it next to the words instead of like anywhere else. But I think that's cute. All right. I like that. I think that works. So once you're kind of happy, and like I said, this is just sort of a really basic version. You can really go crazy and do whatever you want. Use print and cut. It's up to you. You can make it with vinyl. You can do all sorts of things. But I just wanted to give you kind of some ideas on how you can add a little bit of fun to your movie night. So what I'm going to do now is select my entire design and I want to choose attach. By choosing attach, it's just going to let it know that it wants to hold everything in place. Now, we are also going to make a little tag to go with our like bagged treats. So if you have chips or something, just something fun that you can do. And you can theme it to your movie that you're seeing that night. So be very creative. Have fun with it. There's a lot that you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a shape. And you can use any shape that you want to. If you have design space access, you have some like actual like more tag type shapes, but we'll do this completely for free. So I'm just going to choose this kind of like ovaly shape. And I think this one will work perfectly for kind of what I want to do. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I do want it to be like a decent size. And then I'm going to change the color of it just because it's hard to see on the dark. I'm just going to make it light gray for now. Now we're gonna make these and we're gonna call them Arendelle Snow Flurries. You can put these really on anything and you can use fun names for your treats, you know, based on like the movie that you're gonna watch. And I'm gonna actually apply uh, vinyl to cardstock for this because it's really easy, really fun. And we'll use some of the vinyl that came in our uh, mystery box. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just add my text and I believe it's spelled Arendelle. And then I can just change my text to any style I want. Now, the way that Design Space has changed how you choose a font, it's really good if you move your text over here. That way you can see it better. And then we're gonna go into our fonts. Now, I'm gonna use a system font because I really don't like most of Cricut's fonts. And we're gonna find something that's a little bit thicker because it'll be easier to cut on vinyl. It'll be easier to use just like in general. So you can kind of choose obviously whatever style you want, whatever makes you happy, whatever design you want to go with. It's really up to you. Now this one's really fun, this Butter Snowballs one. It might be a little difficult to weed. I'm not sure yet, haven't decided, but I do really like that one. And I also kind of like doing like more of a fancy font. So really do whatever you like, find a font that you like and go with it. I'm gonna go with the font closer. This is one of my favorite fonts. I will link it below for you. 
So what I want to do is I'm going to size this so that it's going to fit onto my tag. I think that looks pretty good. And then I want to add another text box and we're going to call this snow flurries. And I want to size this down again so that it fits within my tag. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller than the word Arendelle. Now I thought it would be fun to add a little bit of like a snowflake or something to this. So what we'll do is let's go in to the images and see what we've got. Now you can grab a snowflake from like uh, Google or wherever, but I'm just gonna grab one really quick from here in um, Design Space. I'm gonna click on free and see kind of what comes up and that way you guys should be able to use them as well if you don't have access. I think this one's really cute and this one will cut really nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one, although this one really looks kind of more like the Elsa snowflake. So maybe we'll go with that one instead. Let's do that one. And again, it's free, so that's kind of nice. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my canvas and it's probably gonna add it kind of big. So we'll of course need to size that down. I'm gonna size it down so that it will fit on to my tag and I can kind of play with this. Like it could definitely be bigger and go behind the words. It's really up to you. It's really kind of how you want it to look. But I thought I would maybe cut the snowflakes with the Berry Cozy Movie Night because those are kind of blue and it would be cute and you're not really gonna see a ton of the bear pattern but I think it will work and it'll look really cute. So what I'm gonna do is copy it and paste it. I just used control C and control V on my keyboard and I'm gonna put two snowflakes on there. So that's pretty much what I want it to look like. I think it looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna select my two lines of text and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach those. That way when I click make it, it doesn't move them around. It's gonna keep them in the same order that they're kept in. Now you can put a hole in this if you want. I'm just gonna kind of like tape it to the bag because I think that'll work really well and it should be super easy. You can cut this in any color cardstock that you want. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna use just yet. So I'm not gonna change the color on here because I'm just gonna kind of go with whatever looks good once I get down to the craft room and take a look and see kind of what color I want to play with. Then we've got our Sour Patch Kids one completely ready to go, we're good to go. So now all we have to do from here, I always wanna save. That's the first thing I will definitely do. I'm just gonna click save. I saved this previously, but I'm gonna save it again. That way I can make sure that my design is ready. Now I just wanted to sort of double check the sizing on this just to see if I do like the size that we're going with. I feel like it's a pretty decent size for like a little bag of chips, but you're really gonna want to figure out your sizing depending on the size of the design that you're using. So keep that in mind, like the, the products you're putting it on. So I'm just gonna use like a little bag of chips. So I think this will be perfect. So now we can go ahead and click make it so you can see what everything's going to look like. You'll see that we have different parts. So this is for our chip bags. We have our little tag part, our vinyl, and then the Berry Cozy vinyl. And then this one here is the one that's going to write on and cut out. Now you are gonna need a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock for this, but what's great is you can absolutely do two of these on one. So if you wanted to have like multiples, you can absolutely do that. And then we're gonna have our pens that are gonna write out our designs. This is gonna be a really fun, easy project. And like I said, this is just sort of an extra idea that you can use with your movie box items. So let's head over to the Cricut machine and get everything cut out. So the first thing we're starting with is the cardstock part for our tag for the chips. So I'm going to go ahead and put some cardstock on my mat. Now again, use whatever color cardstock you want to. It's up to you and how you want to do it. I'm going to use this kind of corally pink color. The next ones we're going to cut out are going to be some vinyl pieces. So I'll go over cut settings with that. But this I'm cutting on the medium cardstock setting. here I'm gonna go ahead and unload this and I'm gonna pop this off so this is the tag part we're going to use and then this part of our cardstock we can save because obviously there's a ton left over now I do need to change my cut settings because the next item we're cutting is the words that we're gonna do in the little cozy bear so we're gonna go ahead and load this face up and I am gonna move the design on my um, Cricut, I'm gonna move it over so that it's just against the six line here. That way it cuts with the bears facing the right way. Now this product is cut on the vinyl setting, cuts beautifully, so let's go ahead and cut this section out and then we will do our next pieces. The next one we're 
cutting is the gold chrome. This I found cuts best on the everyday iron-on setting. It's a little bit thicker than your standard vinyl. Because the next item we're cutting is the one that has all of the writing on it. So I'm going to show you how to input your pens and all of that. I grabbed two pens. It does not matter what color you tell design space you're using. It just matters what pen that you put in. So I'm going to use this blue paper here. And this is just a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. I have this set to the medium cardstock setting. So in order to put a pen in, all you simply do, take the cap off. And I always recommend putting the cap on the other side of the pen that we don't lose it. You're going to open clamp A and you're going to insert your pen into your little holder here. Now I recommend putting your finger under your holder when you are inserting your pen. Now what you're going to do is listen for the click. And sometimes it can be a little difficult to get it to click so you may need to press a little bit. Once it clicks, go ahead and close your clamp. Then you're going to load your paper in and you want to make sure that it's well stuck down. I can see that corner is not stuck very well. Go ahead and load that and it's going to do one set of writing first. We'll unload that pen, switch it out for this one, and then let it do the second set of writing, and then it'll cut out your square. Now what it's telling us is that it wants us to change our pen color. So I'm going to go ahead and open clamp A and pop that pen out. Make sure that you remove the pen cap and place it back on. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this purpley colored one. And again, I'm going to put my finger under there and listen for the click. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that in. Hit the go button again, which is the little Cricut logo, and it will write our second part, and then it'll go directly into cutting. Also, forgive me, uh, because I did forget that we actually have three colors of pens, so I'm going to go ahead and use our third color pen to finish the writing portion. I'm going to go ahead and load that red in. Now, after this pen, it will go directly into cutting. Once it's done, I always make sure to take my pen out before I do anything else. That way I don't forget to. And then I'm going to go ahead and close clamp A and unload my design. Close my Cricut because it kind of gets in the way. I'll slide that up a little bit. And you can see here, I'm going to unload this. I flip my mat over so that my cardstock doesn't bend. And then look at that. Super easy, super simple, really cute way to make a little cover for your boxes. I'll show you how to put this on. We will assemble our little tag. I can't wait to show you how cute everything looks. Now that I have everything weeded, the first thing I'm going to do is cut these in half just so I don't have to try to press them or like apply them together. Then I'm gonna grab my transfer tape and I'm using one that I've stuck to my table a couple times. That way it's not super sticky. And then I'm just gonna use my hands for this. You really shouldn't need a squeegee, except I think that maybe parts of this might've cut a little deep. I've been having a little bit of trouble with mine cutting a little deep after the last update, but it did okay. So then what I want to do is with these, I can just put them wherever on the paper that I want to. It really is up to you and where you want to put them. Now you can see I did that without a squeegee. I just kind of set it down and it didn't need anything too crazy. So all I'm doing is just going through and I press it down my hand and then I just remove it the backing like from it now it like I said mine cut a little deep in a couple spots so I do have to kind of wiggle around a little then I'm just going to place my other snowflake wherever I want to on my paper and again just press it down with my finger and then I'll remove my transfer tape now you can see it doesn't rip my paper which is great this transfer tape is fantastic now I will say with the chrome I do prefer to use a squeegee just because I do find that it is a little bit better stick wise if I use my squeegee. So then I'm going to go ahead and get this taken off. Now again, I do think it cut a little deep in a couple spots. So this may take a minute to get it off. You can see, like I said, this has happened since my last update, which happened between my filmings. So you can see here where some of it's not really coming off. Like you see right here where the backing is stuck. 
So if that ever happens to you, you can take your pin pen and you just very gently lift that backing away from your design and it'll come right off. But this may take me a moment, so I'll probably speed this up because I have a feeling this stuck in a few places, not just one, because it did, for whatever reason, cut this one a little too deep. struggle but don't worry if that ever happens to you you don't have to struggle just get it off take your time it's not so bad so then I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this down onto my transfer tape or onto my project and then we're just gonna burnish it down and go ahead and peel your transfer tape back and this should stick really well to your cardstock and look at that your little tag is all ready to go super easy really fun Really, really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bag of chips and then I'll show you how to fold up your candy. This part's super simple. I'm just using some double-sided tape that I got from Target. And all I'm gonna do is, first thing, we'll just stick our little Arendelle snow flurries on. Listen, all I had was Cheetos puffs, so it'll work. And I'm just gonna either stick it, you can stick it like right to the middle of the bag. You can really stick it wherever you want. But there you go, now you have a cute little label on your bag, super easy, and it stays on. Now we're gonna do our Sour Patch Kids. Like I said, do not judge me, they are Christmas Sour Patch Kids that I got on clearance. I'm not sad about it, I love a good clearance find. So what I'm gonna do is figure out about where this needs to sit, and I'm gonna take a little piece of double-sided tape, put it on the back here, and then I just want to get this so it's pretty well centered on the front of our box. That's just going to help hold it down for folding because folding is super easy. I'm going to flip it over and all I'm going to do is fold this part down and this part over. And you can use another little piece of tape if you'd like to. It's up to you. You don't have to tape this on. It just works a lot better. And then I'm just going to tape it down right there. And then all I'm going to do is take this side and fold it over and I'm going to give it a little fold here. And then again, I'm just going to use a little piece of double sided tape, place it right along that fold and just simply fold it over. Now you have a cute little Sour Patch Kids designed little box. Super easy, super simple. You can have a crisper fold if you want to. I don't really need to, but if you'd like a crisper fold, just sort of use your fingers and give it a little crisp fold. But there you go, your snacks are ready to go. And like I said, you can use the little tickets that we made to help your kids learn like the value of a dollar, so to speak, have them do some chores, earn some tickets, and they can buy their own snacks for movie nights. You can have them earn tickets to pick the movie, all sorts of fun things you can do with this, or you can just make really cute little labels. These are great for, uh, birthday parties and stuff too, where you can label them to fit your theme. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you and let me know what your favorite movie candy is in the comments. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting.